the mud flat. Buddy, please, you can't get that shrimp off the hook. <laughs> is out <laughs> i guess that's what it hit earlier yeah it could have been yeah heck yeah nice little sea trout caught that on a shrimp shrimp heck yeah skunk is out of the box that took all of five minutes <laughs> that's why captain jack's the man uh, you can the yellow mouth yeah yep. sexually mature okay bye bye okay how deep is it roughly right there where you're uh Bobber's at. I'm, I think that's going over uh, live shells. Uh, I'm, I think I'm about three feet. Okay. Got him. Must be a little school of them right there. Oh, that's, oh came that's off. A little nicer, Jay. Yeah. But that's right over a uh, live shell. Okay. Jay, if you want one with the shrimp, just go ahead and. That was a little nicer. Yeah, he seemed like it. It was just drifting up. There he is right there. Got him. Look at that. Oh, Second wow. cast. Second cast on a on a pink devil, guys. I have not been speckled trout fishing in years, and Captain Jack put us up here on this flat. Second cast with a pink devil, not a giant speckled trout. But check this. He just a little awful, awful. Oh, came off. Catch and release. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's on. <laughs> a little nicer fish. Fourth cast, guys, with the pink devil. Got some bang garlic spray on it. Captain Jack has put us on him already. Oh no, I got some. <laughs> there he is right there. You can catch them on Pink Devils in Georgia. <laughs> Look at that, folks. That is so, so cool. I have not done this in years. Look at that beautiful speckled trout. I'm going to have to get a couple pictures of them, but absolutely choke that corky or choke that uh, Pink Devil. So we'll get a few pictures and get that fish back. Hey everybody, it's Jay with Ball Blue Days Outdoors. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. I am actually having an absolute blast already. We just got set up on the very first flat. I'm out here with Captain Jack down in Savannah, Georgia for the week with Mrs. Blue Jays, but I got away for a day to do some speckled trout fishing and some red drum fishing. Guys, you are not going to miss this episode. It is going to be absolutely awesome. I have not speckled trout fish in probably at least seven or eight years since I moved from Virginia. We're gonna be throwing some live bait. I'm gonna be throwing some of my older uh, mirror lures, some Paul Brown lures. We're gonna try to try a few different things, a few different places today. It's gonna be a beautiful day, weather's awesome, low wind. Fish forecast is not super good, but we pulled up to this very first flight and guys, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this episode because we're gonna catch an absolute ton of fish. Stay tuned, thanks for watching and hang on because it's gonna be a great day. Yeah, so it's just a basically just let it kind of go with the current and you let it switch. A lot of times they'll hit it just while it's drifting down. You just kind of let the current do the work for you. Did you fish a super braid, Jay? Uh, 12 pound uh, Beyond braid. Okay. And then I have a four foot liter of 12 pound fluorocarbon liter or a fluorocarbon. Okay. 10 pounds all we ever use having flashbacks
There, I put my money where my mouth was, right? <laughs> you have to that, that, coal front. that lure? Yeah. It's a Paul Brown Devil. Okay. So Paul Brown is a company started down in Florida. I don't think it's I don't know if it's Fort Lauderdale, but it's it's they got their start making lures for speckled trout, and um, I think they first started off with it's it's called a Corky, I think. Okay. Um, which is a I've got a I think I brought one with me, but his his favorite lures that he cre he's created till this day is that devil and that fat boy okay. and uh like i said we had to we had a tequila sunrise devil in our tackle box or a pink one in our tackle box for four or five years like man that lure is just ugly what speckled trout would hit that and one day they were not touching anything and my buddy picked this up out of his box first cast oh, man. i mean if we just That's a nicer one. Uh, I think you got me whooped, though. That's a nice fish on the run. There you go, Captain Jack got himself another one. Is that on a shrimp? Yeah, just a imitation shrimp bait. Yeah. Pretty fish. Just the uh, the voodoo shrimp. Pretty fish. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, let me get a, a picture of that beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. These speckled trout, absolutely gorgeous. So. So much pretty colors, those spots, just a beautiful fish. Yeah. A little bit of bang garlic spray. Nice. A little guy. Just a little guy. I got him, it'll be fine. Okay. All right guys, I switched up to a little 3 8 paddle tail uh, Berkeley uh, power bait. I'll show you guys right here. So one of my go-to baits when those fish are down deep, Jack had a bunch of bites and caught another one on bottom. So just switched it up from the from the um, Paul Brown lure, the devil. But yeah, first cast, hit it with that bang garlic spray. If you guys are gonna be speckled trout fishing, I highly suggest garlic spray. I'm not saying speckled trout are Italians by any stretch of the imagination, but they love uh, they do love some garlic spray. So we'll get this guy back in the water and see if we can't get a few more. So my buddy had a 16 foot center console like this, not, not as wide. But Jack, I kid you not, I'm up front, the very front of his boat. Got him? Oh, heck yeah. He's being stubborn. Need the net? Yeah, why not? <laughs> this is a really pretty, two really pretty colors. Jack got that on a fiddler crab, right? A purple, purple fiddler? Purple fiddler crab. Yep. Just fishing these pylons, literally sitting right on their front doorstep. Yep. There he is. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, he's right up next to the boat. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, we're just looking for fish. Where are they at, buddy? Come on. On a mirror lure, look at that. Yep. There we go. So that is a Mardi Gras Mirrodyne MR17. That's a classic. Yep. That is one of the original ones. But I added a bullet or a, a uh, weight to it. Okay. So it sinks a little bit faster. Okay. Try not hurt the lure or the fish. There we go. Okay. See, you later, See you later, buddy. Sweet. Heck yeah. Sweet. Another one on the mirror dying, guys, using this MR17, this Mardi Gras. It's a purple color. Fishing out. Just, oh, came off. Catch and release. Okay. Catch and release. Catch and release. So, yeah, that's the bait I'm using right here, spraying it with that bang garlic spray. I got. I put a pencil weight in these ones just to make them sink a little bit quicker. But, yeah, just out here working this edge along this edge right here. And uh, that's the second fish I've had on. So, we'll see if we can't get a few more. Oh, no kidding. Fish. It's a smaller trout. He hit that one on the pause, too. I wasn't even working it. Nice. Let me know if you need a net. I think I'm good. Yeah, that little guy. Yeah, yeah. little guy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Here we go, another little guy in the mirror dine. It's number three on this uh, 
purple Mardi Gras. Not a giant, but still fun to catch. Till next time. <laughs> Fish. That's a little better bend. Feels like a better one. Yeah. I think. And then we'll see. I think. Oh, oh. I love the way they... no. Oyster. Oh, he's good. fighting too. Pulling drag. Look at that. Fish, oh, fish uh, on. Nice. Fish. He was up there shallower. I cast it up uh, where that line is, right out in front of us. Right. He was up shallower. Alright. First cast of the electric chicken. Nice. Nice. Heck yeah. There we go, folks. First cast with the electric chicken. So I modified this one too. I put a uh, put a little bullet weight in there. So get a picture and get this fish back. I'm on a kite. Like I liked setting the rods and setting everything and presenting that another one presenting it to where the fish want it heck yeah oh jack i love this stuff catching them on live bait and on mirror lures can't beat it that's how it goes man yep Thank you for playing. Fish. Man, he hit that one hard. Gosh. Even the little ones just smacked this thing. Nice. See? Speckled trout even like pink. Nice. So it works in fresh and salt water. So let me let me break down for you guys what I'm doing and why these fish are where they're at. Jack put us on a pretty good bite here. Let me get this fish back and I'll uh I'll show you guys so you can hopefully see it. There's a there's a rip right here in this current, and those fish seem to leave lit either on either side of it. Jack's throwing live shrimp. I'm throwing this MR17 electric chicken, and there's definitely fish stacked up in here. So, just proves that you can catch them on artificial, or you can catch them on live bait. Come on, fishies. This is that wicked cold. This is the uh, fish. Ah, oh, missed him. I missed him. This is the first first sea trout that uh, that I've heard of. There he is. Came back for it. Nice. Hit it twice. Just letting it flow through that current. I wasn't even working it. Just basically keeping my line tight. God, I love that bite. See, and that's why I think they hit it out of aggression. Yep. Hooked him in the top of the head. Sight yep, there we go. Another one on the electric chicken. Yeah. Just like normal trout. Double up. Well, I definitely think they like the pink. There we go. Yes, indeed. Even the little guys like this. Yeah. Mirror down. Man, he hit this one hard. It amazes me how hard they did. The reason we want this is when we went out this way, it's in a good area. But if I went this way, Wanted to come back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, I get it. Talk about an awesome trip. Now, like I mentioned in the video, guys, I have not been speckled trout fishing in probably seven or eight years since I moved back from 
Virginia to Michigan, but I absolutely love chasing after those trout. And Captain Jack did a great job. We knew the odds were stacked against us. The fish forecast is low. The tide wasn't right. There was a huge cold snap that came through. But what was really cool is actually showing uh, Captain Jack, you know, how I use these mirror lures, you know, whether it's the MR-17 or it was the, the devil on how to catch those speckled trout because those guys are absolute hammers that catch a ton of fish on, on live bait and cut bait. But for me, when I was living in Virginia, we threw nothing but hard baits. But what I want to do is actually break down for you real quick my setup. Like if I had to pick one setup and only a few baits to throw for the rest of my life when it comes to speckled trout fishing, this would be my setup. So I left my rod at home, um, but I typically use a seven foot medium heavy. This is the Vendetti series from Abu Garcia. Seven foot medium heavy with a fast action, fast action tip. I did take my reel with me. This is the Revo SX10 spinning reel and I actually have this spooled up with 10 pound pink camo beyond braid you guys can see i've got a bunch of the different pink, pink or pink, camouflage pink beyond braid but i use a 10 pound braid and then i also use a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and probably about six foot of fluorocarbon leader especially where a fish in that water was super super clear uh, usually in Virginia, the water I was fishing was very brackish. There was maybe a foot, foot and a half of visibility, but there was a couple times where we could see four or five feet down. And as far as lures go, if I had to pick one bait, just one bait the rest of my life to fish for speckled trout, it would hands down be a Paul Brown pink devil. Now I know this probably doesn't look like any sort of bait fish, maybe a giant tadpole, but hands down this bait just straight catches fish. You can see how much that tail's moving. And when you cast this thing out in the water and it's going through that current, that tail is just dancing and it absolutely drives speckled trout nuts. I actually did catch a bass on uh, one of these this past spring with Dylan Grove from Extreme Outdoorsman, so I'm going to be using more of these. But uh, by hands down, LNS Bait Company makes these. I'll leave a link to their website so you guys can check these out. I might have ordered a few more since the trip. Uh, but then there's also the mirror lures. This is the MR-17. These are the original mirror dines. Uh, this is a red and white one. Works great for rainy days. We call this one the uh, butter bean. Not sure why, just as that's, that's the name we call it. So we call this one the butter bean. This is actually the very first lure I caught a, a citation speckled trout on. And you guys know I got to have some sort of pink. So I got the electric chicken, which is a really good color. And then I've got this pink and black one, which is also a really good color. But I'm going to share with you guys a tip that I don't hear a lot of people ever talk about or show this. But I can tell you what, hands down, this bang garlic spray is a game changer, especially on these soft devils or these soft baits. This stuff soaks in and it absolutely reeks. And if I'm fishing for speckled trout and I'm catching a few and I don't catch any after a couple casts, I hit it with this bang garlic spray. I don't know what it is, but speckled trout love garlic scent. So if you're gonna do anything, if you learn anything from this video, the one major tip and trick is if you fish for speckled trout, you've got to try some bang garlic spray. It'll absolutely change your opinion on scent. This was actually the scent that forever changed my opinion about the importance of adding scent to your baits. So hope you guys enjoyed this really cool video. Again, we didn't catch a ton of fish. We didn't catch any giants, but that's not what it's about. It was really cool for me to get to this fishery in Savannah, Georgia with Captain Jack and fish for a fish that I haven't fished for in eight years and use tackle that he doesn't typically use to catch these fish. It was an absolute blast. I'll actually leave Captain Jack's information in this video description as well so you guys can check him out if you're in Savannah. Great guy. That guy's an absolute hammer. Super cool to hang out with. Really, really nice guy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this speckled trout video. Let me know if you guys want me to make any more kind of saltwater content. Something I used to do a lot of in Virginia. Um, I really I really enjoy speckled trout fishing. I really enjoy, and la, uh, enjoy saltwater fishing, but there's not a lot of that to do here in Michigan. So maybe I can make a trip down, some, down south sometime again and do this. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. If you haven't already, please leave a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. It really helps drive this content through the algorithm. Uh, really close to 3,000 followers, so keep up the support, guys. I can't thank you guys enough. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the water next time.